I guess this is my running joke now. Cartoons with weed stuff. I will never get over the Scooby-Doo crack pipe phenomenon. Tom and Jerry toe injury. In 1940, MGM released a cartoon short called Puss Gets the Boot featuring Jasper the Cat and Jinx the Mouse. The short was made by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera who would go to make such timeless classic characters such as The Infamous Paper Doll Man. Then some other stuff happened and it became Tom and Jerry and it got passed around like a Scooby Doobie to several different directors including our Lord and Savior Chuck fucking Jones. I bow to you oh Chuck man. You're the whole reason Dixie looks like a Warner Brothers character that was banned for being too sexy. So yeah it's time to look at video games pertaining to Tom and Jerry. Something I noticed is most of the Tom and Jerry games were all published by the same people except for a few oddballs. High Tech Expressions and New Kid Co. You know what High Tech is famous for? Mega Man on DOS! <laughs> Both High Tech and New Kid Co. were publishers of kid-oriented games. You know, the games that eBay sellers throw into a lot with an actual good game, so you'll have to buy those shitty games to get the good one? I'm on to you, eBay sellers! So that gives you an idea of what we're in for. Alright, so let's start with a game from the computer that makes me want to commit Suzuki every time I play it. Ugh, the Commodore 64. You know how long it took to load this time? Three minutes. Which is still not as bad as the 20 minutes of a tape. So you have a bunch of rooms with cheese in them and you have to get them all before time runs out and every time Tom grabs you, you lose time. Guys, what did I say in the C64 review? I said the British do not know how to program a jump. Well, here's more proof of that. You slow down when you jump and have little to no control of it midair. To jump on a platform, you have to jump on it pixel perfect in order to land on the platform or else you just fall flat on your ass. For some reason, you can't go through the legs on the shelves except for the bottom ones? That physically makes no sense. What, are the bottom legs further back than the other ones? That'd be some goofy-ass Ikea shit. There's also this fake 3D section where you try to grab all the cheese in the hallways. Does the cheese in these hallways even count? I really do not know or care. I tried out the Atari ST and the Amiga version of this same game to see if they were better, but literally the only difference is on the Amiga version, Tom makes this noise when he grabs you. <laughs> oh, apparently I can go through this leg. Make up your mind, game. They just made this game up as they went. Kind of how I write this script. Catastrophe apparently cannot open commander. Not more DOS crap. Da 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 da. I had to learn this song in school. Fuck you. How many minutes do you want one game to last? Uh, do you mean in general? Because hot take here, I think games last a little too long nowadays. So let's see what we've got here. Wait, why does Jerry turn into a blow up doll? That don't look right. Neither does that. Tom wants a mouthful of brown tic tacs. So what I gather is you're supposed to beat up Tom as much as possible before time runs out. But oh man. And these controls. The layout isn't weird or anything, it's just it's very unresponsive. You have to tap the direction you want to go like a hundred times before it will actually register. And you can't get any of these weapons or traps to act right. But Tom can sure fuck you up. <laughs> Am I gonna have to start putting a loud noise warning on my videos? I can kinda get these eggs to work, but only if I tap the button over and over. Then Tom gets a mallet and starts stun locking me over and over. I I'm stuck, I can't move. Great fucking game, great motherfucking game. That's it, press the space bar to play again. No! Tom and Jerry and Tuffy on the NES. What is this title text? It looks like a ransom note. So we got a platformer and Jerry has a throwing weapon and boy do I love me some throwing weapons. Mm, especially when they arc right over what I'm trying to kill. That's the good shit, yes sir. Okay, kill the spider. Kill the fuck. kill the fucking sp- Oh my god, come on! There, fuck. The game's levels are set up like mazes. There's no clear indication that you're going the right direction or even making any progress. There's no checkpoints, markers, nothing. This wouldn't be such a big deal if most of the level didn't look the same. The one thing I can give it though is even though there's no checkpoints, when you die, you start at the same spot you died at. 
and you get continues that start you at the end of whatever level you were on. So at least it's forgiving. There's other weapons in the game, but as much as I make fun of the throwing weapon, it does get the job done. If the levels weren't so convoluted and hard to navigate, I might actually like this game. But you know what they say, the wind she blew, the shit she flew, and on road Paul Revere. Let's try out Tom and Jerry on the Super Nintendo. You still have the same throwing weapon, but this time you can aim it up or aim it down. The levels in this game are a lot more straightforward and linear than the last game. The first half of the game is kind of easy, honestly. The only thing that takes some getting used to is some jumps require you to do a double jump. You know how in Mario 64, if you jump twice, you jump higher. But you gotta do that second jump exactly when you hit the ground or it won't work. There's only a few areas where you have to do this, so it's not much of a big deal. I had this game as a kid, and I've kind of learned its little quirks. Like I know right here, the exit is just under me. Speed run, boys. One thing you'll learn about me is sometimes I'm full of shit. The boss battles against Tom are pretty decent, actually. Also, I just noticed that Tom's head is gigantic compared to the size of the machine. What has he got, an itty bitty little body or something and a ginormous head? The final boss fight is you having to fight Tom three separate times, and each time you get a piece of a rocket. Once you got it all, you give it to Tom and... And that's Tom and Jerry for the Super Nintendo. It's not bad. In fact, I would say go out and play it. Let's see what Sega has for us. Tom and Jerry the movie on Sega Master System. Green screen. So the game automatically scrolls forward with Jerry. And what the hell is this Prince of Persia jump shit? Game devs, your jump does not require 50 frames of animation. It's sluggish, uncontrollable, and not fun. You know what else isn't fun? Having to stand still for two seconds after you jump. What is even the purpose. God forbid we want to move our character after we're done jumping. This game was made in 1992. Mario and Sonic both were around at this point. I know I complain a lot about bad jumping, but it's the worst sin you could do in your platformer, right next to fall damage. Do I have to sit here and explain the mechanics of a good jump? I'll tell you what, one day I will make a whole video where I explain how a jump in a video game works. We have to make sure atrocities like this never happen again. Anyway, the game. You follow Jerry and try to avoid all the hazards. Which is easier said than done because you have such a shitty ju uh, Okay, I'll shut up about the jump, I swear. There's two other things about this game that bother me. One, why does Jerry have landmines? And two, in one level, you get hit by a droplet of water and lose health. But in another level, you can swim underwater. I guess the water has lead poisoning or something. Oh, look, guys, it's nondescript blue porcupine. Must advance swiftly. Okay, how is Jerry doing that? Oh, never mind. It's my fault. I got the video the wrong way. There we go. Now it's right. Tom and Jerry frantic antics on the Genesis. This one was developed by Beam Software. You know what else they made? The Back to the Future NES games and <laughs> the Way of the Exploding Fist. And you know what? It fucking shows in this game. I couldn't even get past the first damn level. They give you a pretty good size health bar, but you need it because there's a metric fuck ton of enemies and they can all suck the life out of you faster than a buzzkill friend who won't shut up about their mommy issues. Jake, Houston, 275 Grove Street, social security number 285. The main problem I have with it is Tom goes too far to the right of the screen so you can't see what's coming at you. So I have to do that thing where you move a little bit, stop, move a little bit, stop. And that's not fun. Stop not being fun. You see, like right there. By the time you see something, it's already hit you. Unless you have these lightning fast smash player reflexes. And if you happen to be a smash player, get the fuck off my video, you piece of dog shit. If it ain't the fire hydrants, it's these redneck rats or granny's teeth trying to kill you. You just can't get a break. So you know what? This game can make like Chris Chan and go fuck its mama. Motherfucker. Tom and Jerry frantic antics. You notice that most of these are tie-ins with the movie? Well, I guess now I have to say the old movie. There's a new one now. I haven't seen it, but I remember this one very well. And I'm not going to be the guy that says, oh, the old one was better. No, this one sucked donkey dick. And from what I've been told, this one does too. Guys, comment section. Did Tom and Jerry ever have a good movie, direct to video or anything like that? Back to the game. What's this, a Razor scooter? I had one of them things. The handle broke off in my hands and it became a really shitty skateboard. Uh, okay? 
Okay. Now I'm in a house that's being torn down, and this damn wrecking ball keeps coming out of nowhere, kicking my ass. You miss me, bitch. Oh, eat my whole ass. Well, just rub it in my face that I died. That's a big fat nope from me, Ghost Rider. Next, Tom and Jerry Mouse Hunt on the Game Boy Color. In this one, you're fighting Jerry to get the biggest amount of mice into a basket. Whoever gets the winning score wins. Pretty arcadey stuff, but you know what? It works. The controls are solid and precise. It's a simple, easy to get into game. I've got nothing against this game. I ended up playing it for an extended period because I was legit having fun. This gets a pass. Good game. I actually played it enough to get into the bonus game. You want to know what the bonus game is? A fucking Game & Watch game. How cool is that? I spent way too many hours on Game & Watch Gallery, so I eat shit like this up. I already liked this game, now I love it. Let's move on. Tom & Jerry Mouse Attacks on Game Boy Color. I hope this one's gonna be good too. <laughs> That's good. I didn't expect a Tom and Jerry raid party. So it's a platformer. Like the NES game, it's not particularly linear, but it's way easier to get an idea of where you're supposed to go. There's also items you can get to go to new areas by collecting enough MacGuffins. When you do, you find a secret door to go to a mini game, and when you win, you get the item. They hit a home run with this game. The jump is absolutely perfect. The controls feel nice. This spider boss was kind of hard though. He'll run around all over the place trying to hit you and throwing shit at you. Kind of like your stepfather when he's drunk. BBF? No, FBBF. No, FFBBF. Okay, oh, B. Okay, so big fucking fat big booty fucker. Second boss is Tom with a water hose. He's a pushover. Just hit him in the head with the bowling ball. Are you a big booty fucker? No, no, nephew. <laughs> Man, they killing me with this awesome music. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say about this game. Tom and Jerry Mouse Attacks. It's good. I'm actually kind of hopeful now. Are the rest of these games gonna be good? We still haven't done the Game Boy Advance games yet. Game Boy Advance has let me down so many times in the past. Is it gonna do it this time? Tom and Jerry and the Magic Ring on GBA. I've heard of that movie, but never seen it. Is it any good? game you can't give me stuff like this because i'll exploit it wait a minute wait a minute well hold up hold up is this what i think it is it is holy shit let me change the music <laughs> Some game developers sat down in a room and somebody said, the world needs a Tom and Jerry beat-em-up game. And here it is. Like, I can't even review this because I'm just so shocked by what I'm seeing. I guess if I had to say something, there's a big lack of moves. You either punch awkwardly or use a weapon. These red cats take a lot of fucking hits too. You'll drain half your health just trying to kill a couple of them. The funniest thing is when you die, you get sent to hell. The big deal breaker for me though is that the game feels samey pretty quick. You're killing the same enemies, the same amount of enemies, and the same ho-hum boring backdrops. So for that, I gotta give it a no-go. Speaking of hell, here's Tom and Jerry Infernal Escape. Escape? Like from hell? Are we gonna get the Tom Slayer? Oh dude, the menu is just straight up you're in hell. I wish you a very warm welcome, my dear furry friend. Wow, I guess furries do yiff in hell. This angel cat tells Tom that he can go back to Earth if he completes a bunch of tests. What is up with Tom's face? He looks like an Easter Island statue had sex with a gremlin. So you have to find a whole bunch of golden bones to finish the level. And guys, I could not finish the first damn level. The level is so confusing, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I've deducted that I have to find stuff to open new areas in the level, but where I don't know. After I found all the golden bones I could possibly find, I just kept running around I'm clueless. One interesting thing though is when I lost all my lives, I went back to hell and there's a hell level. And then this level, you grab back all your lost lives and then go back to the level, which I will admit was a neat concept. But even a blind squirrel nuts every now and then. I think that's how that goes. Tom and Jerry Tales on GBA. This one was just plain odd. You start off with a top-down view. Oh, thank God it's not isometric. And I thought this was the whole game and it took me a 
while to figure out the game wants you to walk towards Tom. Then you start a mini game where you're sawing down table legs to get the table to hit Tom in the head. And then you take a knife and stab him to death. Uh, no, you don't. Okay, when I said you have your head up your ass, I meant your ass. Then you start this platforming sequence where there's hardly any enemies at all, and you just get all the cheese and go to the end of the level. I'm starting to get the feeling this might be a babby game. Most of the games are, like, overly easy, and the platform stages are almost insulting how easy they are. So this might have meant to be a little, little kid's game. Was that Mel Blank? Wow, Mel Blank doing Tom's voice long after he died. Meow! And I guess Jerry too. Toast. Finally, it started repeating the same mini games, and that's where I was like, okay, I get it, and shut the game off. Now we get to the 3D games with Tom and Jerry Housetrap on the good old piss station. Basically, you and Tom get weapons and start beating the shit out of each other until somebody's life runs out. And to spice it up a little, there's traps all around the house. <laughs> That was not a bad Tom yell. The problem with this game is it's pretty much a one-trick pony. The only thing that changes the further you get into the game is more rooms open up in the house. Other than that, you just continue to beat up Tom. This is one of those games that's good in short bursts, I guess. Like when you want ice cream, you only buy a little of it. You don't buy a whole tub to eat right then. Especially if it turns out the ice cream isn't all that great. I would buy ice cream, but my damn refrigerator shat out on me. It's doing this thing where where it works when it wants to. So now I don't trust it to take care of ice cream anymore. Maybe I should make that a Patreon goal. Get a new refrigerator. You see, I've done gone on a tangent about refrigerators. I'm not even talking about the game anymore. That's how uninteresting this game is. Let's move on. Tom and Jerry Fists of Furry on the Nintendo 64. This game was not bad, actually. It's a 3D fighting game. You've got throwable items. You've got melee weapons. You've got a punch. You've got power-ups. It's pretty good. You unlock other characters the more you play, and there's slight differences between them, but it's basically pretty balanced. The only weird thing I found is sometimes the AI likes to spam the double jump for some reason. Get down here, you fucker. There we go. Back in the day, it actually got some fairly decent reviews. People compared it to Power Stone and Smash, and even though they said it didn't hold a candle to those games, it was still good. The main thing that everybody said about it that they didn't like is it was two-player only when the N64 could do four players. And that would be great. Four players all together fucking each other up. Fucking each other up, I mean. But as it turns out, reviewers would get their wish because later, New Kid Co. would release a re remake of this game. Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. It takes everything the N64 did and just improves on it. Now you can have four players all at once. I played most of this on easy mode, and when they say easy mode, they're not kidding. It's almost babby mode. On this version of the game, they added a bunch of environmental stuff that can hit you, as well as a berserk mode that gives you, like, double damage or something. Oh, that's not gonna get annoying. Wait a minute, I have an idea. <laughs> it's beautiful. All in all, the game's not bad, though I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the greatest fighting game ever made or some shit. For one thing, the characters all seem to be about the same. I thought maybe there was kind of a difference between them, but I'm thinking not. And there's only a handful of stages. They made it painfully obvious this is a budget game. But you know what? It's probably $2 on Amazon and free to emulate, so give it a try. If you don't like it, no harm, no foul. And that's the end of Tom and Jerry video games. But that's not all of them, is it? There's another one. And you've been probably waiting this whole video for me to talk about it. Thanks to the wonderful people in the little country of China, we have a Tom and Jerry gotcha game. There is a game called Tom and Jerry Chase that's only available in Asia. And guys, I tried to emulate it. I surely did. I tried my damnedest to get this game to work, but I can't do it. So we're just going to have to look. From what I've been able to tell, you have three mice and one cat, and the cat has to catch all the mice. And in typical gotcha game fashion, there's levels, there's 
ranks, there's costumes, there's separate versions of characters. It's what you would expect it to be. What I didn't realize though is how serious China is about this game. This wasn't just another throwaway gotcha game for China. This game was serious. In fact, it's considered an eSport in China. There's gamer clans for this thing. I didn't realize until a friend told me that Asia is very fucking obsessed with Tom and Jerry and they spared no expense making this game. Like you've probably already seen some of the promotional artwork for this thing. If you have it, here we go. You've probably already seen this one. China, please don't sexualize the baby. How about this one that looks like a fucking Solitarobo character? You know who that's supposed to be? This guy, who was in the show for all of one minute. And can we talk about the art style? This is amazing. But I would never would have guessed this was official artwork for a Tom and Jerry game. Do you even know his name? I didn't. His name is Cooper. I'm under the impression that he didn't have a name to begin with and they gave him a name. So he's Cooper now and apparently he's super OP according to people who play the game. Look at this. This looks like Ratchet and Clank fan art. You know what else I found out about this picture? That's not Jerry. That's his cousin from that one episode. There's a lot of those guys from one episode characters on here. Like, who the fuck is this? Who is that? This just straight up looks like someone's OC. Look at this Detective Jerry Jojo looking motherfucker. And there's so much more of this artwork and it all looks so good. But that's how they get you. They get you with all this cool looking artwork. It's like, hey, the game is going to be awesome, huh? Man, imagine being one of these mobile game artists that's worked on like all kinds of anime gotcha games, Genshin Impact and shit like that. And then on your resume you also have Tom and fucking Jerry. This is what happens when the East draws the West and it looks amazing. And it's all for a fucking mobile game. Whew, that took a lot out of me. I think I've had enough Tom and Jerry for one day. Anyway, let me know in the comments if there's other franchises you'd like me to look at. Video games based on cartoons is my favorite thing to do. And that's the show for the day. Hit me up on Twitter, throw me some money on Patreon or coffee. Just don't hit me physically. Only my parents get to hit me. Bye.